like not struggle. The British love all that. The British gonna make sure everybody know about you because the British don't want him fighting them. So Ghulam Ahmed not only starts preaching that he's the Messiah, Ghulam Ahmed starts preaching against jihad. Don't fight, right? So the British push him. Ghulam Ahmed sends people to the United States. The Ahmadiyya movement. They get a lot of converts. You remember the jazz musicians? Remember the old jazz musicians? McCoy Tyner? Oh man. Dakota Staten? Y'all remember Dakota Staten? I'm talking to the, I'm talking to the councils of the wise men now. And the wise women here. Dakota Staten, uh, McCoy Tyner. Um, you know, it, it even said that um, Charlie Parker was Muslim. Ahmad Jamal, Youssef Latif. See, they're coming out of here, alhamdulillah, right? They were converted to Islam by the Ahmadiyya movement. The Ahmadiyya movement. It's interesting that Ghulam Ahmed said, if I'm lying, then may Allah curse me if I'm lying about being the Messiah. Within a year, Ghulam Ahmed, his head over a toilet, in a toilet, regurgitating his insides out, right, died in that state. That's why one of the brothers told me when we gave, we gave a little talk, we were talking about al Hajj Malik Al-Shabazz, some brothers from the nation was there, and they said, well, you know, Minister Farrakhan, you know, this is, this is the position. I said, well, I'll tell you what, let's raise the stakes. Let's raise the stakes. Tell Minister Farrakhan to say, if he's lying, then may Allah curse me. <laughs> let's raise the stakes. Our leaders will come and say it. Tell Minister Farrakhan to say, if he's lying, then say, may Allah curse me if I'm lying. And let's just take it from there. See what happens. <laughs> Ghulam Ahmed said, if I'm lying, may Allah curse me. Right? He died a filthy death. Filthy. Because he tried to make himself more than what he actually was. Remember we talked about in the, in the kutbah? Allah told the prophets, do not make yourself more than what you actually are. Do not tell the people, and what did Noah say to the people? I am not telling you that I have the treasures of Allah with me. I am not telling you that I, I have knowledge of the unseen. I am not telling you that I am an angel. Because Allah told the prophets, do not tell the people you're more than who you are. We've had in our history as African Americans a messianic tradition of leadership. Leaders who came to us had to talk about they, they were special. Father Divine, I was born on the corner of 125th Street in Lenox, through an explosion. <laughs> no, through a process of spontaneous combustion, bam, and I, I was born, right? Right? And Father Divine did some serious stuff. I mean, during the Depression, he was feeding people. They had some serious programs going on, but he had to make himself more special than he actually was. So then other leaders come about. I am God in person. Well, then if you're God, and you taught me I must be the messenger of God. A messianic type thing where you got to be more special than you actually are. Right? These were trends that started to occur. So now we had a situation. Noble Drew Ali. Noble Drew Ali is doing his thing. Marcus Garvey is doing his thing. The Ahmadiyya movement. Here's Ghulam Ahmed doing his thing. The nation of Islam to this day will use a Quran that is translated by those in the uh, Qadiani, the Ahmadiyya. Maulana Muhammad Ali, whose tafsir is not all that bad until you start getting to Jesus. Until you start getting to Jesus, peace be upon him. Because he's got to insert himself now as the Messiah. I'm special. I'm special. All right? That's what happened to Ghulam Ahmad. But until the mid 1950s, the Ahmadiyya movement had the largest community of, Muslim, of, of, of African American Muslims. The Ahmadiyyas did. And then the nation took over. Noble Drew Ali mysteriously dies in 1929, right? Fard Muhammad then takes over the realm. I am the reincarnation of Noble Drew Ali and you should follow me. Some did. Some did, some didn't. No, you ain't. But some did. One of them did, whose name was Elijah Poole. He followed Noble Drew Ali. He believed that Noble Drew Ali was the reincarnation. I mean, he believed that Fard Muhammad was the reincarnation of Noah Drew Ali. Fard Muhammad disappears mysteriously. And then he becomes God in person. 
He becomes God in person. Then Elijah Muhammad then says, I am the messenger of God. When, no, when, when Farad Muhammad was deified and made a god, there were some who went with that, and there were some who didn't. Elijah Muhammad was considered to be a renegade, a renegade by the Noah Drew Ali followers. That's why he had to go to Detroit. The Temple of the Nation of Islam, Detroit number one, is in, um, Temple number one is in Detroit. He had to run for his life. Now, the Nation of Islam says basically the same things that Noah Drew Ali is saying. We're Asiatics, but they even take it to another. God is the black man. The black man is God. We know the story. We know the story. But the same theme, brothers and sisters, Islam and black consciousness. But Islam being so distorted that Islam is just, it's not Islam anymore. It's okay for us to have a sense of Isa and who we are. When we start saying that we God, that's taking, it to a, that's taking it a bit far. Because as soon as we start saying that we God, we start suffering from the same thing that those who have a God complex suffer from. Arrogance. Arrogance. And then Elijah Muhammad became, he was worshipped. And Elijah Muhammad, when saying that he was a messenger of Allah, saying that he was a Rasul, that meant that he brought a Risala. A Risala is a, a holy book that Allah gives you. You bring a Risala, you're a Rasul. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is a Rasul, he, brought a, he was given a Risala. Noah is not a Rasul. He didn't bring a Risala, but he's a prophet though. So when Elijah Muhammad said that he was a messenger of Allah, he's saying that he was a Rasul. The implication was that he brought a Risala. He brought a scripture. So of course the problem became that people began to associate this with Islam. It's not a problem with their teaching. The problem is that they're calling it Islam. They can call it 